Atlantis, often called the Lost City, has been a source of fascination for centuries. It's said to have vanished beneath the waves, but the mystery remains. So, let's start by talking about where this story comes from. Hey everyone, today, we're diving deep into the mysterious and captivating world of the Lost City of Atlantis. Is it just a legend, or could it be real? Buckle up as we embark on this adventure to uncover the truth. The story of Atlantis can be traced back to an ancient Greek philosopher named Plato, who lived around 2,400 years ago. He described Atlantis in two of his dialogues, the Timaeus and the Critias. According to Plato, Atlantis was an advanced, powerful civilization that disappeared in a single day and night. So, what did Atlantis look like? Plato's descriptions provide us with some intriguing details. According to him, Atlantis was a land of great beauty and advanced architecture. Atlantis was said to have grand buildings and temples made from precious metals like gold and silver. Its architecture was remarkable and unlike anything known at the time. The city was meticulously planned with a series of concentric rings of water and land. At the center of Atlantis was its capital city, known as the City of Poseidon. This city was particularly impressive, with a palace at its heart that was adorned with ivory, gold, and silver. It was here that the rulers of Atlantis resided. Atlantis was surrounded by lush countryside and a warm, temperate climate. The island was fertile and full of resources, making it a paradise for its inhabitants. The natural beauty of the island only added to its charm. Over the centuries, people have come up with all sorts of theories about where Atlantis might have been. Some believe it was in the Mediterranean, while others suggest it might have been in the Caribbean or even Antarctica. But is there any real evidence? Unfortunately, despite all the theories, no one has found concrete proof of Atlantis' existence. Many underwater expeditions have taken place, but none have definitively located the city Plato described. So, this leads us to a big question. Is Atlantis just a myth? Well, there are a few things that suggest it might be. First, Plato was known for his philosophical storytelling, and some experts believe that Atlantis could be an allegory rather than a real place. On the other hand, there are those who remain hopeful that Atlantis could be real. They point to geological and archaeological clues, as well as ancient maps and writings that could potentially support its existence. In our quest to unravel the mystery of the lost city of Atlantis, we've journeyed through ancient texts, explored theories, and even ventured into the realms of imagination. Now, as we reach the end of our expedition, let's sum up what we've discovered. Atlantis remains one of the most enduring mysteries in human history. Its allure lies in its enigmatic nature. Whether you view it as a myth or a potential reality, the very idea of Atlantis continues to captivate the human imagination. Some scholars argue that Atlantis, as described by Plato, might be more of an allegorical representation rather than a concrete place. Plato was known for using storytelling to convey philosophical ideas, and Atlantis could be seen as a vehicle for his concepts rather than a historical account. Despite the lack of definitive proof, the quest to find Atlantis persists. Over the years, many have dedicated their time and resources to search for this lost civilization, both on land and beneath the sea. It's a testament to our insatiable curiosity and the allure of the unknown. Whether Atlantis is real or not, the very idea of searching for it reminds us that there are countless mysteries and wonders left to discover in our world. It fuels our drive to explore, learn, and expand our understanding of history and the secrets that lie beneath the Earth's surface. Regardless of its historicity, Atlantis serves as a powerful myth that has influenced art, literature, and culture for centuries. It's a reminder of the human capacity to dream, create, and pass down stories through generations. As we conclude our exploration of Atlantis, remember that the journey itself is just as important as the destination. Whether Atlantis is ever found or remains forever hidden in the depths of the ocean, the spirit of discovery and the thirst for knowledge are what truly matter. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep seeking the truth, because the mysteries of our world are as boundless as our imagination.